Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to the channel. First of all, I want to issue an apology for I haven't been like posting a lot of videos as of recent. Uh, the main reason is I had like I had been away for a while, but nevertheless, uh, I'm back and back with much more amazing content. So, as you all know, uh, regarding to Pro Evolution Soakers, of course, uh, Pats recently released its new version. Uh, the two past 2018 game and since they had to like make changes a few changes with like the um, uh, gaming engine or uh, yeah gaming engine right it means that now the now past 18 requires you to have uh, a high like highly specified uh, computer or a computer of high standards and capabilities for you to be able to play the uh, past 18 like swiftly and smoothly and then for uh, for someone who has like um, a low uh, like a computer that does not even make it to meet up like the minimum standards, uh, you know, I think it's uh, I would urge you to watch this video for I am especially making or dedicating this video to those people who have like computers that like fail to even match up the minimum requirements of Res 18. So um, in this video is going to be a tutorial on how to make you game smoother actually when you have a computer that has like minimum that that fails to meet the minimum requirements so uh the first thing you have to do is uh to go to our uh, graphic user interface uh manager and then once you get to your graphic user interface manager my computer has like uh the nvidia 300 uh, 3 sorry the nvidia 920m uh graphics card but actually it's not so good enough to play PES 18 and it actually does not met the minimum requirements. So anyway let's get into uh, the video. So first of all what you have to do is to either, uh, either you let the 3D application decide, use the advanced uh, 3D image settings or use your own preference uh, emphasizing. So I think the best way if you want to have uh, a, 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 if you want to play your pass without lagging right definitely you have to remove it from uh, quality setting to performance setting all right because then with quality if you increase quality it means your computer is going to have to uh, use a lot of frames per second that might like uh that might like uh that might like power up the load for your uh for your processor making your game a leggy or, or not so uh, not so smooth when it comes to like performance so you have to like pull it to performance and then apply click apply and then next you go to um manage 3d settings and uh sorry when you choose performance actually the image is going to be a bit edgy but then anyways when you go to manage 3D settings, you choose uh, the preferred graphics processor and of course you have to choose the NVIDIA processor for it. It, has, it is better at performance than uh, the Intel chipset. So uh, at uh, ambient occlusion, you have to pull on off and uh, the next option, yeah, you also have to put it on, uh, you have to turn it off. and. Anti-aliasing uh, FAA, FXAAA, you have to put it off, and uh, anti-aliasing mode, uh, you also have to put it off. So, so you see, if you want your computer to mainly uh, work on performance, you have to turn a lot of those uh, features off. And then, anyways, when it comes to CUDA GPUs, you choose the one you have. I have GeForce 920M, and uh, maximum preferred frames you put uh, to four you have to select four and uh, yeah you have to select four and with power management mode uh you have to prefer maximum performance so that your computer might be able to use a lot of power so as to uh, uh run the game or any application of your choice uh so yeah prefer maximum performance and shade the cache uh put it to off turn it off and texture filtering i think you have to uh, turn it on actually and texture filtering uh, negative LCD uh, bias are uh, allow and texture filtering color you put it to high performance 
and uh, texture filtering on uh, I think you can see the rest of the options then you click on apply and then when you click on apply afterwards um, you have to go to like the third option the text setting uh, set is X configuration and with this one it's like you're telling you your computer like you, you are like demarcating which uh, specific graphic uh, processor or which exactly graphics processor your computer should use when it's when it's either using uh, an external display or an internal it's natural internal display so afterwards you have to select on and then you go to on to the past 18 settings as you can see on um, so the basic thing about the frame rate is one of the most important like the key components actually uh, in game put it to 30 frames per second and when replays and demo 30 frames per second again so as you can see my computer actually does not meet uh, the minimum requirements actually like my graphic uh, my processor and, and uh, graphic uh, and, uh, chipset sorry uh, graphics card are not so good but anyways uh, we go back to display then once you put it uh, to full screen resolution or uh, this 1080 times 720 and then all the frames per second this is the most important thing 30 frames per second and everything then okay so as you can all see uh, my computer actually does not meet the minimum uh, specifications necessary to run the software blah 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 you click on ignore and uh, once you click on ignore uh, then you try to run the game and see so I'm gonna run the game and see what the results are gonna be actually so let's get into the game then um, okay no yeah okay uh, let's start the game as 18 Oh, this is actually a cool uh, wallpaper actually, though I'm much more of a Manchester United fan But I have to admit that this is a cool wallpaper too. So uh, getting into the game um, We have to go to uh, the system settings of course And try to tweak the settings, uh, the in-game settings If you know what I'm talking about Like, uh, so we go to uh, extras, options, then we go to um, Sorry, not options um where should we go oh, system settings exactly now we have to go to render settings we need to tweak in the in-game settings eh? uh so image quality basically okay when it comes to depth of field put it off utilizing channel taa text filtering texture filtering low motion blur i hate this uh setting actually turn it off if you like me bloom off uh, ambient occlusion off shadows you have to turn them low post processing uh off you know close simulation off page side low yeah exactly so afterwards uh let's get into the game and see if this is gonna be of much help to any of you or to me actually so uh, i choose a team and see uh if the game play is gonna be swift and smooth so let's get into the game then. First of all, uh, the jerseys actually, as you can see, I downloaded uh, the link to the website and the description where you can get all those kits. You can get like the uh, those uh, patches, game patches, past 18 patches, whereby you have the official team names and official logos, official logos and official kits for the teams. Like the option file, sorry, yeah. So I'll try to put the link in the description where you can get the option files that you can use to make a game uh, much more realistic and not have to worry about the team names and like Man Red and the unofficially named uh, Premier League ETC. Uh, anyway, so let's get into the game. As you can see, the graphics Hello, is actually warm, much better than the last, the uh, the last be on the very actually like the, the graphics will be with us uh, anytime 18. now. I have to clap hands for Konami because they Manchester definitely I'm Peter the best when it comes to developing this game actually Thanks for that, uh, so anyways even the like the fans actually the spectators they look so well improved it seems as if Konami actually touched on like the 
spectators because with the previous past uh, installments you'd see that the fans would be just like some ca clipboard cartings or ca uh, like you know those like clipboard cartings Manchester like just paper the there wouldn't be like one. so much uh, three dimensional figures system, actually you can expect more 3D figures but then in this game the they tried their best uh, in making them 3D uh, icons actually so uh, let's get into the game, let's play and see what we can, uh, if the game's going to be a bit smooth. It definitely has to be smooth. So let's see, um, okay. So as you can see, it's not lagging anymore, it's not like so smooth actually. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? It has to be the brains of the operation, Tony Kroos. He's another one of the elite passers in world football, and his consistency remains high at, at both club and international level, and one of the first picks in the team. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Madrid just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Marcelo, he's left his man. Chills one in. Has a hit! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Strong punch. Rashford. He's got away. Rashford! A potential goal of the season contender, if only. Rashford really has just learned the lesson there. Your focus cannot lapse, even slightly. It's Rashford. Shaw. And the Herrera. Lingard. Played it. Header! Good delivery. No joy. Madrid can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. But plays it short. Lingard. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Manchester are enjoying the line, share of possession, but nothing yet to show for it. Cruz looks to clip it forward. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Tony Crows encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. Matic. Mukatari. That's surely a foul free kick. And it's Rashford. Get that clear. Ball is over the line. Rashford pushes it out wide. Played in by Lingard. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Shoots! Goal! Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb.
Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Marcelo. Benzema. That's sprayed out wide. Deftly done. Chance! He'll have a dip! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Benzema certainly did his part with a lovely pass, and unfortunately, the loveliness ceased there. Pogba. Five minutes till the break. And scored near to half-time to make it 1-0. Marcelo. Tony Kroos. Where to from here? Throw it. Tries a through ball. Benzema. And it's hoisted clear. Surely he's... It's Lucas Vasquez! This could fall anywhere. And that's it for the first half. A breathless ending. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tight.